Yes, I've been thinking too. And you know what I was thinking about? Adapting. Our word today is adapt. How well do you adapt? How well do you adjust? That's what it means. How well do you make something suitable for purpose that has to be modified, that has to be changed? How good are you at that? Because life requires it. Not only does life require it, I want you to see what the Bible says about it. Now, in Romans 12, 2, familiar scripture, it says, don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will, God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. But let God transform you. This word that, that, that means transform is the same word that means to transfigure, to actually change form. Well, of course, we're not talking about changing physical form, but it's talking about a complete metamorphosis, a change in you in terms of how you think, letting God help you do that. Now, this is adjusting. This is adapting. Okay, listen to another passage um, of Scripture. That was Romans 12, too. But also listen to Philippians 4, 11 to 13. Listen to what Paul says. I'm not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Listen to what Paul is saying. Paul is saying that life requires you to adjust. And you never fully understand the beauty of life if you don't have the ability to adapt. Life is forever changing. Situations are forever changing. The dynamics of people are forever changing. And if you have the you don't have the ability to adapt, to adjust, to modify, that will rob you of a lot of your joy. We have to be able to adjust, to modify. Now watch this. When you think there's never a need to adjust, to modify, to adjust to the blows of life, to adjust to certain circumstances, you're a person that feels entitled. And entitlement can be a total detriment to your spiritual growth. If you think that nothing uh, outside of normal should happen to you, then you feel entitled. And when you feel entitled, you feel no need to adapt. Because you feel like God should always make it smooth for you. He should always make it perfect for you. But the person who understands that everything God does is out of his love and his grace, at any time in my life, I may have to adapt. I may have to adjust. I may have to modify because I don't know where life might take me. I don't know what might occur. I've been blessed. But it's never to say that a, a, a rough day is not coming or tragedy is not coming or trial is not coming. You have to be careful of feeling entitled to where everything should go smooth for you. Paul says, I know how to adjust. I know how to have. I know how to have not because life has taken me there. But I also understand that I have no more right to a smooth road than anybody else except for the grace of God. Your ability to adapt 
will help you not only understand that God's grace is sufficient, it will also help you realize that everything doesn't have to go great for you. We all have to learn to adapt. Think about it.